You won't be able to hear it, but I'm underneath four and came in pine on there, three phases, like I said, it's three legs or three wires, whatever. Hit cracking in. So that one over there quickly. Really quickly. There I am, fucking camera hero, got Murray. So you'll see me there. Humming eye, 50 times a second, 50 hertz. Means the sine wave is going up and down 50 times a second, going to feed into the transformers, whatnot. And you can see over there some Sox lanterns, Sox lanterns over there. Uh, no sodium lantern, 45 watt, 45 watt, I'm not sure. So yeah, I do love high voltage and street lights, sodium street lights, the old sodium street lights, the two main things, and obviously car audio and loud music and whatnot. Yeah, so you can probably hear the hum of the plane going over now. Zoom into the interview. Sorry, excuse me. So you see, the insulated, the insulated rapid is about 15 or 10 kV each one. So if you put all them in series, you need roughly the trip come to about 400 kV. So yeah, it's quite a good. These are the, these are the, the uh, circuit breakers. I don't believe that one's a circuit breaker there. The, uh, this, I think, oh, it might be a CT actually, a circuit breaker, I mean, a current transformer. It's saying, 13 kV there for some reason, there's a lot more than 13 kV. They say saying like 13 kV there. I don't know why it's, I don't know why it's like more than 32 kV. Unless it's these wires here and just that uh, one could kill you. Just to take KB. Street fence and arm monitors. So yes, yeah, so that's I don't mean need to try now. So yeah, that's basically the yeah, trans that's the transform there. Oh no, it's the same. I can't pronounce uh, that's one of your transformers. And that's the transformer there. There with the coil, three phase coils in it, and that's your cooling system because it's separated, so they have it all in one go. It's separated, so you have the transformer there, and you have the cooling system there with your like the fins and stuff. You have the so you've got your like, the uh, switch gear, the switch bars and stuff, you suck it right well. There's just like, like a, a name for it, but I can't remember the name for it. But if you're the insulators and the like, shed thing there, where you want where you monitor the voltage and the current and Kilowatt hours and what we're not quite up in the hours. It's quite interesting, quite a nice substation. This one, I've been to quite a few of them when I was younger. When I was, uh, you know, my dad and stuff, because me and my dad, you know, it's nice to do this. Nice to get out in 2020, bad weather. Here with the uh, discharge of the uh, 400 kV input. Yeah, so it's quite like, a nice place to. Yeah. If I had my way, I'll have a bed, I'll make a little room or something, a little room, I'll live here. I know I'll feel dangerous and the distance between the voltages and stuff, you know, I knew quite a lot from there, I didn't have 120. But I knew it from a little substation over there. Uh, so, I think I wrapped it back up because my dad's calling me, so I better sort myself out and go back. <laughs> Don't feel well, it's like shit. Oh, yeah. That's that. I do this. Yeah. So yeah, that's the 
orange KB pylon, or sort of pylon, yeah. And then you've got the transformers, switch gear, potential transformers, and all your... I do believe that's a circuit brake, if I remember rightly. Yeah, you can hear it humming, cracking over there as well, because of the rain and shit. So, I think that's wraps about here. So, yeah, I'm signing out. It's Cabin Row right here. Looking kind of okay. Yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.